Hey, good afternoon. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota, just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2018 Nissan Navara, sitting here in front of me, the ST. Only about 64,000 Ks on the clock in the manual, currently on sale for 43,990 drive away. Uh, just a bit of an idea for us. So we're obviously Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. So I'm currently standing at one of uh, two of our massive big pre-owned yards up here at 251 Mulgrave Road. We've got another one up at uh, 77 Mulgrave Road. You can see up the back there, our, two, our uh, massive Toyota and Lexus showrooms and uh, spare parts and service drop-offs as well. Um, we've got absolutely jam-packed today on a massive sunny, hugely sunny day here in Cairns. It's friggin' hot, so we're gonna try and get into this. But look, really good idea just to um, take you through the car as, as promised and any sort of marks I can find, the service history, the whole works. So we'll see what you reckon. If there's anything that doesn't quite show up on the video, please let me know and um, we'll get some photos through for you instead. So you obviously got the genuine bonnet protectors across the front here, so not too, too many stone chips on the bonnet. We've got a tiny little one there. Just wanna get that in the camera for you. If, um, if any of these are a concern for you, let me know. I'm sure we can talk to management and see if we can um, possibly get them touched up or something like that as well. Just a little one there as well. And up on the ridge, but nothing too bad. Pretty clean across the rest of the bonnet there for you. No chips or cracks or anything like that in the windscreen as well. You can see, like I said, on sale. Currently one of the cheapest in Queensland at the moment. You also got the weather protectors down the uh, two front windows as well on the driver and passenger side. So I'll just take you up under here as well, just as your ass. You can see yourself, it doesn't look like it's, there's a tiny little bit of dirt up between there, but it doesn't look like it's spent much time off-road at all. You obviously got stacks of tread left on these um, all-terrains there too. And of course your genuine alloys. So it doesn't look like any sort of gravel rash or anything on that one, it's pretty clean. Just take it right up underneath as well. Exceptionally clean under there. A little bit of scratches on the bash plate, but it's a full drive, that's what they're for. So I'll take it around the front of this bull bar as well. Obviously the genuine Nissan one on there. Looking very clean. And same thing, just back down the driver's side here too. Take it up underneath. Extremely clean through there. Far out, looks like new. So just that driver's side front wheel as well. Got the genuine alloys the whole way around. Same with the wheel centers there too. So it doesn't look like any dents down the um, down the driver's side here. Just a tiny little chip in the actual mirror there in the chrome. It's pretty clean across that roof there too. Just showing the inside of the driver's door here too. And the door cards. Very clean on the inside there as well. A little bit of scuffing on the main entry here. It's obviously the driver's side, so it's just the highest traffic area. Looks like where they've caught their boots jumping in and out. Not too bad at all. Another little chip just here on the um, driver's side rear door. But again, nothing too bad. Same thing on the um, rear door card as well. Like you can see yourself even behind those rubbers and that. There's no red dirt, there's no nothing. Child locks obviously on both these rear doors for you. Very clean through the inside. So you've got that rear window there, you can actually open that from the front. I'll show you that once we jump inside. And that lighter interior. You've got the solid handles at the top as well. Make it heaps easier, we're jumping in on those side steps. And again, the one on the, uh, on the front there too. Quickly show under these mats as well. So you got the genuine rubber ones the whole way around there too. Again, this thing is just so clean. You can see right up in the suspension there too through the cores. Freaking struggling to see any sort of gravel rash on these. Bloody clean. So it's got the alloy roll bars there as well. Look at the, um, the Torno cover here being the SD as well. We'll pop that up, see if we can do that one-handed. There we go. Pop that down for you. Ooh, a little bit tight for room, but we'll get there. There you go. So tie down points in the back corners as well as down the front here too. You got, looks like you got an accessory plug over the back there too, as well as the, um, the arches for the Torno. All the genuine lining as well. 
Got a reverse camera under here, so I'll show you that once we jump inside there too. So no chips or anything like that in the uh, in the tail lights there either. Back. Spare tire under there. Stacks of tread left on that. Looks brand new. Very tidy down the back quarter as well. So fuel's on this side here. I'll show you where the release is that. with that when we jump inside. Again, you can see that spare tire there. It looks literally freaking brand new. Just a little bit of couple of little tiny stone chips on the inside there. Nothing too bad at all. Looks like a couple of little fingernail scratches on there. Just those common ones from people's rings. Fingernails you know, getting caught as they open the doors. Super clean on the inside. Again, just a couple of minor sort of scuffs um, where people have sort of caught their shoes jumping in and out. And same thing, just those same sort of fingernails on the front there too. Take that one there. So we just don't touch cars that have been through salt, written off, accidents or anything like that as well. Bloody clean. Again, just those same sort of ones on the entry there. It's super clean underneath. Looks like someone's left you a Bluetooth or a phone holder there, so we've left that for you just in case your phone fits. Got a cup holders in there. It's all your manuals, books, everything's all in the uh, the glove box there as well. Um, I can't tell you it was a private owner from uh, down south. I just can't show you the that front page because it does have their contact info. But I'm happy to send that to you privately. But full service history here as well. So obviously 2019 at the first service at 1300Ks down in Gladstone. Same place, service it the whole way through. So again at 20,000, 2020. End of, 20, uh, end of 2020 in November at 39,000. And then again at 58. So not due again for another 15,000 after that. So close to the 70 mark there. So awesome service history. It's exactly what we want. Right, super clean across that dash there too. Just jump round and we'll jump inside for you. So you've got two genuine keys as well. So one's actually still in the plastic for you. Um, central locking on both those keys. Jump in here. It's a little welcome message. So 64,492 Ks as it sits right now. Um, extremely tidy, super well serviced. You can see yourself on the inside of this as well. So no engine lights or anything like that to, to be concerned about. It's just that one little warning light because we've got the door open still. Um, and of course you've got the, the um, <laughs> seatbelt on either. Uh, I'll just chuck it in reverse real quick, show you at the back there. So that's that little camera. So being the fish eyed lens, you can see the back uh, bumper of the car there as well. So coming up to that wall does give you that those wider views. So you should never actually back into anything. Once you put a tow bar on there as well, uh, makes an absolute piece of cake to back and up to those trailers as well because you can physically see how back, how far you are. There's no jumping in and out. Uh, obviously you've got sat nav in this one as well with the updated screen, um, your radio options. So you've got your Bluetooth, USB, AUX, the whole works as well. As you go further down, you can see those ones down here. Plenty of storage for your phones, accessory plugs up in here, we've got the rear diff lock down here as well, and of course your four-wheel drive options there too. So as long as she's in neutral, there's no locking in the hubs or anything like that with these, simply just click across that 4H, you'll hear it engage, you'll see the lights flash up on the dash there as well. Once that's a solid light, you know it's engaged. Um, if it ever sits there and keeps flashing, it doesn't quite engage correctly, it's just the electronic side keeping up with the manual. Drive forward a couple of meters or backwards in a straight line, and you should engage that, no drums at all. Um, same again to go in the four low, you just got to push that in, make it go across, and then you, that's for your real hectic four driving. So, your beach crossings, your, your sands, all that sort of stuff. Um, the aircon controls are all up here, so fan speed, temperatures, of course, where you want it coming out of, and it is all touchscreen up there too. So, your Bluetooth, the whole works is all there for you as well. Uh, we've got the six speed manual in this one, plenty of blank switches down here as well. So, just in case you want to put any spotlights um, or anything like that on the car, cup holders down there, storage in there, and another accessory plug again. 
super friggin tidy on the inside here we've got the adjustable seat belts plenty of airbags as well uh, shape on the inside of these visors so lights up on the inside there sunny holder up the top and again same thing over this side as well so fuel release is down here so that window at the back that i was saying in between the um you can open that up so we hold that down i'll show you that so you can open and close that Unreal for um, if you've got dogs in the back or if you want to reach the esky in the back, whatever the case is. Uh, fuel release is just there for you too, and your bonnet release is just down here. So I'll crack that open, we'll jump outside, show under the bonnet as well. Super tidy under there, absolutely. The batteries get checked, obviously through the roadworthies and everything like that as well. Very clean up under the firewall there too. But that's what that good service history does. Beautiful. So just to show you really as well, being the ST, you've got the daytime running lights there as well. So as soon as you turn the car on, they're gonna be running. You've got these LEDs on both sides. So they look good, but they are a safety feature as well. So especially in the pouring rain, nighttime, anything like that, they're gonna make you stand out. But look, thanks Eves for your inquiry. This of course closed the virtual tour and um, can't wait to hear your feedback soon.